Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 319 video. My name is Ed and in this video I want to show you how to license your Exchange server. Now for the more senior admins it's actually pretty straightforward. For the people that have never done Exchange or are new to Exchange there are two ways that you can do it. If you log into the Exchange Admin Center and you click on Servers you can see your servers listed here. You can click on them and you can see I'm running a trial edition. So if I click on enter product key, I can then enter my key provided uh, by Microsoft. Now remember, Exchange 2019, um, you can only download from uh, the Visual Studio site with a subscription. It's and it's not available publicly to download Exchange 2019, so just be aware of that. So you'll notice that when I clicked Enter Product Key, it took me to the Properties page, which is essentially double-clicking here, and under the General page, licensing it. Now, you can do the same thing from PowerShell, where you can go Get Exchange Server, Minus Identity, EX, uh, 2019 a minus product key sorry set exchange server minus identity ex 2019 a minus product product key and then obviously you will type in your product key here and press enter um, and then once you've done that, you have to head over to your services and you have to pretty much restart the information store for the changes to take effect. If you do not license your server, you'll be limited to five databases mountable. Now, let's say you have a DAG, you'll get to a point where the copies um, will not go healthy because it needs to be activated and, and if you go look at the event logs, it'll tell you that you've exceeded the, the quota for the license that you have on the box. So just remember, standard edition allows you five mountables. If you're enterprise, 100 databases that you can mount. So plan your servers accordingly on what you need. And that is how easy it is to basically license it. Thank you very much for watching.